There is a book that many of us here have spent countless happy hours poring over. A book that has tested our powers of observation and our patience on every single page. A book that has one very simple premise. The question, where's Wally? The other day, I was cleaning my room, a biannual task for the average teenager, and I found the Where's Wally book and thought, hey, let's try to find Wally, for all time's sake. It took me hours, believe me, and not much cleaning done either. Sorry, Mum. <laughs> Eyes were aching from squinting, but after one lucky glance, I found him right in between where the two pages met. I was going to leave this book and never look at it again after being successful to, in my quest to find Wally. When I thought, how uncomfortable he must be, being squished against both sides of that book, being overlooked and rarely noticed. Wally did not look happy on that page. Even his face was distorted. One side was up here and the other one down here. So all this got me wondering, was Wally happy being stuck in that book? Did he want to be there? Did he even know what there was? I know he's a cartoon character in the book, and we can't actually ask him these questions. We can never ask him, Wally, how are you? But imagine this in real life, with real people who can actually answer us back. Usually for me, and I'm pretty sure for a lot of you, when we meet up with our friends or our peers, we either ask them, what have you been doing, or what have you been up to? But do we ever ask them, how they are. And if we do ask them, is it ever asked with an actual concern? If we see them appearing to be fine or saying they're fine, we just leave it as that. Wally may have looked physically all right in that book, even if his face was a bit wonky, and our friends may smile and say they're fine, but are they? Perhaps they too are squished on the inside. However, we won't know if we close the page in them like we do with Wally. If we can spend so much time looking for a book for a little cartoon character, surely we can spare the time to ask the people around us how they are. If they give you the standard, hmm, fine, reply, because, let's face it, we don't like to burden one another with our issues or our problems, or we feel too scared to be judged. But just ask again. Ask them, how are you really? Don't metaphorically close that page in them. Those four little words, how are you really, may just be what they need to feel unsquished, perhaps making their life and world a nicer place.